let's take it just on a micro level. When I was the ambassador in Panama, there was an American company, an American energy company, that had purchased a, um, a concession from the government uh, to do some work down there. And because of a, an individual and an organization that had, uh, was not pleased with the way that that uh, licitation, that that uh, uh, bid process uh, had turned out and that they had not won, used a lot of local influence to be able to try and torpedo it. Um, this is something that only an embassy and only American diplomats who understand local context can solve. You really can't solve that from Washington. You don't have it. It certainly was not big enough to the point where a president or a secretary of state would pick up a phone and call a foreign president about this one company. And yet at the same time, uh, there was a need to be able to raise the issue. So that's what ambassadors do. And remember, an embassy doesn't just have a relationship with a foreign government. So it's not like an ambassador or a political officer or an economic or commercial officer are limited to talking to people in the Ministry of Finance or the Ministry of the Treasury. You go out to the private sector, you go out to the American Chamber of Commerce, you go out to local chambers of commerce. If need be, you go to the press and you use the court of public opinion and you try to influence things. You can't do that effectively unless you really understand local context. Uh, many years ago, I don't know if you recall, but uh, Ross Perot ran for office, and at the time, video technology was just in its infancy. And Ross Perot said, look, wouldn't it be more effective if we just got rid of embassies and we did everything by video conference? Well, let me ask you, have you ever FaceTimed with your child or with a lover or with a family member? It's not the same as being there. Edward R. Murrow once said that the most important distance, and remember, he was the guy who did the, the radio, the original radio broadcasts from the bombing and the Blitz of London, and he came into American homes, and at the time it was a technological revolution. Everybody thought it was amazing, and they felt like they were there, and the American people felt and heard the suffering. And he, who brought them all of that, said, yes, it's very important and it's very good, but the most important part of human, commi human communication are the last three feet, meaning a face-to-face -face conversation. So undeniably, American diplomats protect, defend, and advance American commercial interests around the world.